Scan on people, Jeremiah Kenny, Occasions TV as always, you're about to listen to Painted Image. It's real hard coming from a place where when you're black with your life, they don't really expect you to do too much. A place where the rising number on black and black crime becoming too nuts. Places where most of us have to grow up in overcrowded council flats, in rough estates, like Peckham, Brixton, where most of our parents have to work two jobs just to earn enough pay. So we don't get to see our parents during the day, because they've only got scheduled overtime shifts written in their planner. So we've got to educate ourselves, and make sure that we're streetwise when we're rolling around the manor. And make sure that our school work's on point, because mummy and daddy haven't got time to come home and check our English on work to see whether we put the commas or the full stops in the right place, or to see whether we use the right grammar. Now it's even harder coming from a broken home with no father figure. So black boys look at the TV for our models, watching Scarface thinking they can be the next Tony Montana. And it's real sad because this is the reason why most black boys end up in a slammer. Imagine, I met this young boy the other day in a barbershop, I swear he was like a mini me. Cause now he was about 14, 15, had a twin as well, just like me. And we said he'd do anything for his brother. Take a life, put his own on the line. For his twin brother, he's talking it with even D.I.E. And I'm smiling, nodding, because I can agree, because I'd do anything for my brother. Take a life, sacrifice my life without thinking twice standingly. Then he started talking to me about his life and the streets. He started saying how him and his boys are about to go ride out on his enemies. KMT. And I asked him, young soldier, why do you and these other boys have beef? But before he could answer, I just had to reason with him. I asked him, did these guys rob you? Your bro? Or do they owe you peace? But he replies, no. So I'm scratching my head in this belief thinking, Jeremiah, have I missed something? But he did reply, and his reply was very brief. He said, because they're the other side. And I repeat it, because they're the other side. What, because they don't go to the same school as you? In the same crew as you? Or have the same postcode as you? That's why you class these boys as the other side. That's why you and your boys want to ride out on a bus, commit crime with knife by attempting to take another brother's life. Mess up another mother's life. Make another mother cry. Now this is happening all over London because most of these young boys don't have the love of Christ. 